friends! Remember me? I know a lot of you have probably forgotten that you were subscribed to me and once you see this video you're like, oh yeah, I was subscribed to that bitch. Not anymore. But please, please hear me out, okay? I'm back and I'm back for fucking good and you have no reason to trust me, but just listen. I'm gonna get more into it now when I start doing my makeup with you guys. This is just a chill, get ready with me. So I'm not gonna ramble on too much right now, but I do wanna say I have been gone for so long and I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about not only like why I've been gone, but also just what is inspiring me now to come back because this channel is dead and gone, honey. This shit is buried and dusty as fuck. You don't have to believe me, but just know that I am excited to create videos videos for you guys, be real as fuck with you guys, just chill and have fun on a channel for once because I have stressed myself out so much with YouTube for no fucking reason and this channel I really want to be a place where I can come and have fun with you guys and just like play with makeup and I just feel really creative and inspired with it. But anyway, I just hope you guys can trust me enough to just stay subscribed and see what I have to offer. Thank you guys so much for being patient. I know most of you probably, like I said, forgot that you were subscribed to me but if you didn't and you were actually like waiting this whole year for me to post, thank you so much. I hope you didn't hold your breath because you'd be dead. Anyway, I ramble enough in this video already, so let's just get started. All right, guys, I am looking fucking dusty as shit. I just, I mean, like, I'd like to say I've had better days, but this has pretty much always been it. Anyway, let's just get started because I literally have so much I want to talk to you guys about. This is just going to be a casual get ready with me. This is what I've been doing every day, especially in this hot as balls motherfucking weather. My ponytail looks like crustier than fucking Pizza Hut stuffed crust, baby. I could actually like sit here and talk forever about how shitty I look, but let's just, let's just keep it moving. I'm going to start with the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base, aka this is like so expensive and I'm still not sure if it's worth it. I bought it because Jeffree Star uses it and sometimes I like to pretend I'm rich and in fact um, I'm not <laughs> but uh, did I wash my hands uh, let's be real who cares honestly I have no idea if this works like I've used it for a while and I still don't know so I guess that means it doesn't work next I'm gonna go in with the Becca backlight priming filter this is the shit I think <laughs> I'm really not sure if I like anything I just buy it because everyone tells me to you know what I mean and then I have no money left and I'm just like Fuck. I'm just gonna do my eyes while I talk to you guys because like I said I have a lot of stuff I want to talk to you about. I'm gonna list below everything that I use on my face So if you want to know the palettes that I'm using on my eyes or whatever, it's gonna be down below really quickly I'm gonna prime with Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion in Eden This is like what I've used forever and I'm just gonna talk. Okay, let's chat So I don't know how many of you guys follow me on my main channel uh, Jesse smiles. I put way too much of this on, but I had a child um, I'm pretty sure I've told you guys that I was pregnant, but I did I gave birth and next month Noah my son is gonna be a year old which is fucking Crazy and that's also why I've been gone for a year to be honest like I've just been All over the place. I really enjoy being a mom. I've just like kind of lost myself in the internet world. I'm sorry, I keep fucking blinding you guys. I don't know how to explain it, guys. I, on my main channel especially, okay? Well, obviously I haven't posted here. I got 100,000 subscribers on this channel in a few weeks, which is crazy to me. I thought nobody would wanna see my beauty shit. And so instead of like taking that and being inspired by it and posting, I just get anxious that nobody's gonna like the shit I'm putting out. And especially because I do that to myself with my main channel, I stress myself out so much that um, I just give up. Whoa, girl, that is a look right there. And we're done. <laughs> I almost always use this color for the crease. It's the Jennifer Lopez, like the Inglot collaboration that she did with, uh, with Inglot and I love this shade right here. I don't know what it's called, but I'll put it down below. So I stress myself out a lot and with my main channel, like I have no idea what in the actual fuck I'm doing with my life. You know, I just don't know what kind of content I want to put out there anymore and I get really stressed out about it and something I've always loved is makeup and I am so upset at myself that I have let this channel like a die and I've just not paid any attention to it because makeup to me even now like just sitting down and being able to do my makeup it's like the only time I get to myself and I just enjoy it so much I'm not a fucking makeup artist okay I'm really obviously not hello look at this eye but I love makeup and I have loved makeup for as long as I can remember and I've like given up on it and I know that I can have a channel where I can literally just have fun like this is the channel where I don't need to stress I don't need to think about like are people gonna like my shit are people gonna like what I'm putting out there like I can just put out there things that I have fun doing you know what I mean and I can't do that on my main channel anymore I wish I could but I I've lost myself there like I'm not even gonna lie to you guys 
Sorry, I've been blending for 85 years. I've let go of this channel and this channel is really like my only opportunity on the internet, I feel, to like be free and do the shit I wanna do. I don't know if that sounds dramatic, but it's it's true. That's the way I feel. So I feel like re-inspired with this channel. I feel like I just want to try again and I really want to just have fun with it. So anyway, my whole point being, I am really back for good. I hope you guys believe me, but rather than believe me, I want you guys just to like sit and stay for the ride because I really have so many ideas. I want to post here. I'm not going to say how many times a week, but I just want to, I want to fucking go for it. And I really want to try this and I want to, I want to be a beauty guru, bitch. And I'm still going to be posting on my main channel. I don't want you guys to like, you know, for those of you that follow me on both, like I don't want you to think that I'm not going to be. I just, ah, guys, am I making any fucking sense? I'm just trying to like convince you guys how like excited I am about this channel again and how good that feels because I haven't been excited about anything in a long time. I know that sounds really sad, but um, other than my son, I don't got a lot going on. I am sweating. Does that happen to fucking anybody? I do my makeup and I just start profusely sweating on my mustache and then I get nervous because I have to put on my foundation. So then I start telling myself to not sweat and it just makes me sweat more. I'm just a sweaty ass bitch, honestly. I have always been a sweaty ass bitch. Can't help it. Anyway, so I'm blending that Jennifer Lopez shade into the crease and then I'm using my Dream Street palette, which is fucking filthy. Kathleen would be very proud of me. And I'm using this transition shade right here. Um, it's lighter than the Jennifer Lopez color, so I kind of use that to blend it out just a little bit more. But right now there's nothing on this brush. I'm just like blending it out. So yeah, that's basically my spiel for why I'm, uh, why I'm coming back, bitch. And I have so many ideas that I'm just like super excited to do, but I'm not gonna say any of them because every time I promise something, it goes to shit and burns on the ground in a pile of fucking filth. <laughs> I'm gonna use a Dream Street palette again. I'm gonna get this darker, this like kind of like dark red, warm tone, brown, red, brown. And I'm gonna put that in the outer corners to like deepen this up just a little bit because honestly it is too hot for this bullshit. Let's be real, I have always done the same type of look, okay? Warm tone. It's just different like shades but it's the same shit. I do the same shit over and over again for like years. I try to branch out. I try to put on purple eyeshadow sometimes but it gives me anxiety. I am just blending this as much as I can, but honestly, I give up on blending when I'm not doing it for a video. I just kind of, I'm like, that's good enough. You know what I mean? Like nobody's gonna stop me on the street and be like, bitch, you should have just a little bit, like right there, you should have just done a little bit more blending. Nobody gives a shit, you know? So I just do it until like, it's fine. But when it's a video, I feel like obliged to do a little bit more blending than normal. I'm gonna use this palette, which is literally my favorite thing ever. It's the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea palette. It's volume three. It's got so many beautiful little shimmer colors and they're not like, blinding or anything but it's honestly perfect like if you go on vacation and you just want like a bunch of different options for lid colors this is super pretty and it's just i don't know i love it i've been using it every day and i just use these two lighter shades together i just put it on with my finger i rarely put on shimmers with a brush because i find that it just doesn't go on very nice it goes on like all fucked up like patchy and dull and so i always use my fingers for a shimmer color but that's pretty much it for like the eyeshadow honestly i'll put some on the bottom once i have my foundation on but i don't go too crazy also i forgot to mention i'm not sure if you can tell but i have some janky ass eyelashes on like eyelash extensions so what had happened was when I was pregnant with Noah I actually started getting an allergy to eyelash extensions because like I had gotten them a bunch of times before I got pregnant with him and I was totally fine and then once I was pregnant my eyes would swell up really bad so recently you know he's turning a year old and I wanted to get them for Disney because it's so hot I didn't want to wear mascara so I got them thinking you know I was only allergic when I was pregnant and then I got them and um yeah my face blew up my my eyes blew up like they were so swollen and itchy and I was like fuck my life and what happens with my eyelashes like the extensions when they get swollen like when my eye gets swollen is they just kind of like fall out I don't know why the point is I have like five on each side and it looks pretty horrendous and they're all facing different directions I can't I honestly I can't the foundation that I've been using every day is the Makeup Forever HD Stick Foundation. I don't know if this is old or not. Honestly, I am not up with the times, you guys. You should know this by now. But anyway, when I heard they had a stick, I was like, uh, no thank you, not in this heat. Like when I think of a stick foundation, I think of super thick, creamy foundation that's gonna melt the second I go outside because I'm gonna sweat all of it off. But this, oh, okay. But can I just say really quick? 
This smells like fish. Like, I can't. It does smell fucking awful. I just bought mine, so it's not like it's fucking expired. I, I, I have no idea. I have no idea what's going on. It's gross. Like, when you're applying it, it's gross enough to be like, ill. But despite that, it's got a super great finish. Like, I love this foundation. When I sweat a lot, all you see is that I'm sweating, and then the second I stop sweating, like, my foundation doesn't crack up. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes when I sweat, my foundation just, like, completely melts off, and this foundation doesn't do that. And if you have even drier skin than I have, I'm pretty sure you'd be just fine with either really lightly setting this or not setting it at all. This is my foundation that I've been wearing every day, but honestly, the shit stinks. And it really just takes one layer. Although I do need to go in with concealer because this is not enough coverage. I could go in with another layer of foundation, but I do feel like that might be a little bit too cakey for me. So I just spot conceal and use concealer under my eyes. This is the Tarte Shape Tape and I might have just put too much. This concealer is crazy full coverage, but it is like the only thing that actually covers up my under eyes. I mean, I used to use Bye Bye Under Eye, which I do use to spot conceal my pimples. Because it's so thick, it's really good for me to just conceal and just have to use one layer of it versus a thinner concealer that I would have to kind of like cake on there. So I do still use it, but I use it for spots on my face, not on my under eye because it is a little bit, honestly, it's pretty thick, especially now in the summertime and no thanks. But I blend this in with my Real Technique sponge and then I just go in with this and make sure that it's blended into my foundation and there's not like a reverse raccoon situation going on, which there might be because it kind of looks like that on the camera. Great. Wonderful. And then I'm just gonna go in with my incredibly fucking filthy it cosmetics concealer and medium. This thing lasts fucking forever. Like seriously, I have had that concealer for 35 years, even before it came out. And I just grab that on my sponge and bounce it around the areas that need more coverage. Anyway, what else is new? Um, I'm moving back to California in January. I'm very excited about that. I miss Los Angeles so much like more than you can ever fucking imagine i have never missed a city as much as i miss that place and um yeah i just i honestly i can't wait it's gonna be a really difficult move with the baby a cross-country move on its own is literally hell like that is just an actual nightmare <laughs> but a cross-country move with a baby that's 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 death so I'm not looking forward to the actual moving process, but I miss Los Angeles so much that I just, I can't wait to be there. I don't know why I've been getting so many pimples on my forehead. I take really good care of my skin. I don't know if I said before, but like before I had my baby, I never used to wash my face at night. I know that sounds fucking awful, but I would sleep with my makeup on every night when I was single. And then I got pregnant and I don't know what got into me, but I just got in the habit of washing off my makeup and I never sleep with my makeup on anymore. I wash my face all the time. I have a skincare routine and um, I still get pimples, so. My skin just says, a fuck you bitch, we don't care if you're trying, we hate you. But anyway, I just take my time and really like bounce in everything and try to make sure it's as blended as possible. Now I'm just gonna uh, bake my under eyes. I do this all the time, every single day. I never do not bake my under eyes, like that is not a possibility. And I use the Too Faced Peach Perfect Powder, the loose setting powder. I just pick that up on my sponge, on the same sponge I used on my face, and I just dab it in there to really set the under eyes, especially, like I've said a billion times, in this fucking heat, because everything, the second you get out there, just completely goes to shit. So I let that just kind of like sit on there for a little while, and then I grab a fluffy brush. I get more of that powder on it, and I just dab any of my spots. For my whole face, I'm gonna use the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This product, if you guys haven't heard of it, like, what the fuck are you doing with your lives? Seriously, this is the coolest thing ever. So this is a powder that actually has, I believe, water, and I don't know why I'm looking, it doesn't have the ingredients on the back, but it has like water and glycerin or something like that in it. The point is, when you put this on your brush and then on your face, it feels like you're putting water on your face, but it's a dry setting powder. After a while, like when you get to the end of the bottle, it does go away, like that sensation doesn't last for the whole use of the bottle unless you're using it really quick. Like it does get, I don't know, once it gets older, it just stops doing that. But the reason why I love this so much is not because of that sensation. It's because it's such a finely milled powder. Even in the summer, this doesn't make me look cakey. Like I, this is my shit, man, I swear. I tweeted it the other day, but dude, literally my fucking nose, like give it five minutes and it's gonna start running out of this 
motherfucking nostril. One nostril always runs when I do a full face of makeup. Why? Why me? But anyway, once I do this, I do wipe off my under eye bake or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Whatever I set my under eye with, I wipe it off. And then I always, always um, apply some sort of spray here. It could be anything. It could be a facial spray. <laughs> Whatever, point is, I always spray my face after I set my powder because I feel like if you're doing a lot of layers, I said this when me and Kathleen did a get ready with me on her channel, but like I feel like the more layers you add, the more you need to in between set them or give it some moisture to sink into your skin. I don't know if that makes any sense, but that's just how I feel. But anyway, what else? What else is there? Moving to LA, back doing beauty videos. That's it. <laughs> oh, let me know if you guys, I know it's not beauty related, but I don't feel comfortable putting it on my main channel just because I don't feel like my audience like really would want to see that. But if you guys want to see like a what I ate today vegan edition on this channel, I've been vegan for a few years now. Well, I was vegetarian when I was pregnant, but I've been vegan pretty much for three years and I fucking cook all the time. I cook every day. I make so many different types of recipes. I don't know. Like I feel super creative cooking and I just like would like to share that side with you, but I also don't know if anyone would give a shit. So I'm going to leave a little poll in the corner if you've made it this far into the video. So if you guys have like a quick second, please vote for whether or not you'd want one of those videos on this channel and then I will do it or not do it, whatever. So I'm just going to curl my fucking janky ass eyelash extensions. Ow! And then I'm gonna use my Better Than Sex Mascara by Too Faced and just try to not make it look atrocious because these eyelashes are fucking, whew, they are just uh, hanging on for dear life. Good from far, far from good. I always leave my eyebrows for last. Um, I don't know how many people would agree with that. I feel like people mainly do them before, but I just hate doing my fucking eyebrows. Does anybody else hate that shit? Now, don't get me wrong. Like, I know what we all looked like 10 years ago when the eyebrow trend was not a thing and we all looked like bald little chihuahuas, but I secretly wish that we can go back to those times because I just fucking, I can't be bothered with these fucking eyebrows. I have two little fucking, what, I mean, what even is this? Like, it's like bald there and, I just, my hair is too short, so it either sticks up or sticks down. And when it gets long, it's even worse. Like, I don't know how to help myself. So I have to spend like 15 minutes doing my fucking eyebrows, and then it doesn't even come out good. You know, like if I have to spend 15 minutes and then it comes out good, whatever, you know, time well spent. But that's not the case, okay? It just comes out like shit and it's frustrating. So anyway, I literally leave them uh, for dead last because I just, uh, I dread them every single day. I'm gonna do my bronzer and I'm pretty sure this is Kathleen's brush that she left in my makeup thing and honestly, I love it. So thanks girl. <laughs> and I'm gonna go in with this Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And this is a super light color. Like I would never normally use this as a bronzer, but Hear me out. I feel like when you go out in the sun and it's this fucking hot, any sort of bronzer, any sort of contour, I'm talking cream, powder, it does not matter. It looks like shit, okay? It looks like just horrendous. The sun is not your bronzer's friend. Let me know if you like know what the fuck I'm talking about. Like I, I know I don't make sense, but to myself, I make sense. So I just use a super light hand and like barely do anything. I just give myself some sort of color back into my face. I don't know, I just feel like since this color is so light, it really, Oh no, my power just went out. I'm scared. Sorry about that, we are back. Anyway, what I was saying is that I just feel like this color because it is so soft and not dramatic at all, just sits better on your face outside. And I do this with a big fluffy brush because it just doesn't give you that like line look. Then for blush, I'm going to use this Note Desert Rose blush. This is actually what we got in this last month's BoxyCharm. So if you got BoxyCharm this last month, you also have this blush. And I'm normally not one for peachy blushes, and this is really pigmented, but I kind of like the look it gives me. Like I'm digging the peach for summer. I usually go a little bit too heavy with this every time. And then I go in with my powder brush and I blend my blush and my contour kind of away. <laughs> like I just like take off everything I just did just because I'm super self-conscious of how this is gonna look in direct sunlight. But now for the star of the show. So this is Ofra's new packaging. This is their highlighter in Beverly Hills. So what I do is I literally swirl it around and then I pick up a little bit extra of the lighter colors and I tap off the excess and then I just apply it. And honestly, this shade is fucking beautiful. Like, it's just really, really pretty. What I love about this highlighter is that it's 
not super blinding where you're gonna be like bitch you need to relax but it's also not dull like it's not just a little glow it's definitely there and impactful i'm just obsessed with it honestly i'm gonna use the jennifer lopez inglot shade and my favorite brush for my bottom lid this is from dose of colors so often i feel like the color goes too far down or not far down enough and it just looks like shit so this is the best brush for that Ow, 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 I'm putting it in my eyeball. What's wrong with me? I always just keep it pretty light under my eyes. I don't use any darker colors, especially if it's for like the middle of the day, like no thanks. And then I go back into this palette and I'm gonna use just one of these lighter shades. That's why I love this palette. I feel like you can just grab whatever the fuck you feel like it. I pretty much do the same lip combo every day, which is these three things. It's Too Faced Melted Liquid Lipstick in Nude, L'Oreal's Lipstick in Ferris Nude, and then Kathleen's collab with ColourPop, the lip gloss in Moonchild. So I know that's kind of like intense for every day, but it's just what I've gotten used to, so it's what I do. I'm very sorry, but I am gonna go off camera to do my eyebrows because, I mean, it's not fun to watch me do them, and I mean, maybe one day I'll show you guys how I do them. It's just, it's such a, it's just an unfortunate experience. So I'll be right back with my eyebrows done. <sighs> that was tragic. I don't want to hear any comments about my fucking eyebrows, okay? This one was being a major dick, so if they look like shit, I'm very sorry. I'm actually not sorry. I'm sorry to myself. But anyway, that's it. That's it for this look. So guys, um, yeah, I rambled a lot in this video, but I really wanted my first video back to be a just a talking, sitting down, really being honest with you guys. I did get a tweet from someone who was like, I know that you're gonna just stop posting videos again, and I already feel the pain. I know that person was probably joking but honestly I get that like I get if you guys don't trust me when I say I'm gonna post like you have no reason to but I do feel inspired and I haven't felt this creatively inspired in years if you guys have any suggestions as to what you want to see on this channel any certain products that you want me to review please let me know down below and I will do them and you guys know how I do it this is the same as my main channel in the sense that I'm no bullshit like I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys about products I know that as beauty gurus get bigger on their channels they get sent a lot of free stuff and that in turn like influences the way that they feel about certain things but let me tell you something I'm not saying I'm not gonna accept PR or anything like that because I actually do get PR from companies like Too Faced and stuff like that but if a company wants to remove me from their PR list because I am honest and I say oh this product I don't like or it's shit and you guys shouldn't waste your fucking money on it then bye bye bitch I'll buy it with my own money I am someone that doesn't have a lot of money and like I get so fucking annoyed when I have bought things because beauty influencers tell me to buy them and then they're just like honestly really not great products. So I would never want to do that to you guys. Makeup is fucking expensive. You should spend it on things that are good quality. That being said, I know not everything I like, you guys will like, but the point is I hope to keep this channel an honest place where you guys can just like laugh, hear about new products, hear honest reviews on products, and just like chill out, okay? That's what, it, that's what the goal is here. So anyway, I hope you guys stick with me. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!